Hey, I'm Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know I haven't posted any videos all week. I had a video edited, ready to go, ready to be uploaded, and by the time I got to um, saving it, it decided not to save. So then the entire video got deleted. Now here I am, sitting at my vanity. Um, it's Friday, we're happy, it's Friday, weekend, yes, we get two days of break with no work. At least I do. Um, but let's go ahead and get this video started. Okay, so for today's video, before I just go ahead and jump right into the makeup and all that good stuff, um, I just want to explain, I guess, what I'm doing today. I have to go back to work in 45 minutes, so really I'm just going to put a look together as fast as I can and as pretty as I can do it, doing it as quick as possible. Um, but also being able to enjoy it because I haven't done, really done my makeup this week. I did my makeup maybe twice this week. Excuse my basket. I haven't put my clothes away. They're clean, I swear. I've just been putting it to the side, okay? And I don't judge me because I know y'all do it too, so. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be picking up my Hard Candy Port of Fence Primer Serum. driving home and I started scratching my face ah, I try not to touch my face when I don't have makeup on just because I know my hands are always dirty especially because I work with babies um, but I started scratching my face because it was like itchy um, and this random white bump just popped up on my face so if you can see that I am so sorry I, I seriously don't know what that is I guess because I scratched too hard I don't know. Okay, now for foundation, I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 118. And this is, this is the Matte Plus Poreless foundation. Now I'm going to use my finger to apply it all over my face. And then I'm going to be picking up my Morphe Beauty Sponge to blend out all that foundation. Remember, you got to blend this out kind of fast because it's matte. So it dries like super quick. While I'm like, like beating my face with this beauty blender or beauty sponge, whatever the heck you call this thing. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I stopped putting, um, or trying to. Sometimes I still forget, but I, um, uh, stopped putting foundation, like, right under my eyes. Um, just because I feel like with, I've noticed that if I don't cake up my under eyes, uh, it looks more how do I say um, how do I say it it looks like my my skin literally just looks flawless like under my eyes if I don't cake it with um, concealer and foundation but if I cake the rest of my face it's fine just my under eyes I would I've always had such issues with it so if you guys want to try that I know a lot of people do that and I never thought it would like make a difference but oh my god it does make a really big difference for concealer, I'm going to be picking up my Infallible, Infallible Pro Glow uh, L'Oreal Concealer in the shade uh, 4, Neutral Beige. Now before I pick up my setting powder, I'm going to be picking up my Kat Von D contour palette up and we're going to be dipping into the two lighter shades to set my under eyes. I always say just my under eyes and then I like go ahead and brighten like other places on my face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hitting pan. What the heck? Okay, now for the setting powder, I'm gonna be picking up my airspun loose face powder. And I'm gonna be dipping my Morphe Beauty Sponge and just applying a little bit all over my face. And 
now for contour, I'm gonna be picking up Hoola from Benefit with my Real Techniques blush brush. find the contour a little bit I'm gonna be dipping into my Kat Von D uh, contour palette and we're gonna be dipping into the middle shade okay now to make a precise line under the contour I'm gonna be picking up my airspun setting powder with my morphe beauty spray Now we're gonna let that just sit there for a little bit. I'm gonna be picking up my Sephora Pro Brown number 20 brush and we're gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow powder in the shade Soft Brown. bad boys up I'm gonna be picking up my rimmel my ribble my rimmel London 24 hour wear concealer putting some on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna be picking up a flatter brush to define my eyebrows Now picking up my Real Techniques flat brush and blending out all that concealer. Now we are going to start with my eyeballs. I'm going to be picking up my Makeup Forever Eye and Lip Primer, putting some on the back of my hand and then using my finger to apply it on my lids. And if you see me struggling, don't say anything. Just keep it to yourself. My nails are long, so it's hard, okay? Okay, time for eyeshadow. I'm gonna be picking up the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection up. I'm gonna, and I'm looking through the palettes to see. Oh, sorry, I almost dropped it. Which one I want? Which ones I want to use? What the heck? I don't know what happened to that, but okay. Okay, for the transition shade, I'm going to be picking up Jack the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection, uh, and I'm picking up Bling Boss, and we're going to be dipping into H Hush Hush, which is this really pretty rose gold as the uh, transition shade. my Morphe M139 brush and I'm going to be dipping into Spark which is really pretty maroon shape.
now I'm gonna be picking up a flat brush and I'm going to cut the crease. To Bling Boss. Okay, and now I'm going to be picking up a purple liquid liner and I'm going to be applying a line on top of the cut crease. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'm gonna fast forward it. Fast forward. go back to work like this. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to be picking up my Sephora um, press powder brush to wipe off all this excess powder as well as blending out the contour. I'm going to be picking up my uh, Kat Von D contour palette up again and we're going to be dipping into this middle shade. Okay, and now for highlight, I'm going to be picking up my Tardius Pro, Pro Glow Palette up with my Morphe E27 brush. I've literally just had it in my hand. And we're going to be dipping into Stunner, which is this middle shade on the right side. off my under eyes or my under eyes my eyes I'm gonna dip back into spark and I'm gonna put it on my lower uh, lash line with my Morphe M431 version And now for eyeliner, um, the bottom eyeliner, I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Lasting Drama White Eyeliner. Okay, now for mascara, I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara and applying it to my eyelashes. Buddy, where you at? Where are you doing? <laughs> Everybody say hi to Buddy. This is my dog. Okay, and now for lips, I'm going to be picking up uh, Kate London. C-I-A-T-E. This is liquid velvet. And this is like a pink matte lipstick. Okay, and this is the finished look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.